Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, be in this world like a stranger or a traveler. We have to focus on the hereafter and remain away from the attractions of this world. There are certain signs that we are not focusing on the hereafter, but instead we are too much attracted to this dunya. The first sign is that you don't plan your time around Salah time. Another sign is a whole day or two passes and you don't open your Quran because you are too busy. The third sign, you care so much about what people say about you. You are not worried about what Allah is thinking about you, but you care about what people say about you. Another sign is you argue unnecessarily when you are told something you are used to doing is haram. You know, somebody points out that you are, what you are doing is haram, you are arguing, you are putting your own uh, arguments. Another sign is you keep on delaying good deeds. I will do this tomorrow, I will do this day after tomorrow, oh, I will do this next week. Another sign is the lives of celebrities interests you. You watch reels and shorts and videos on uh, film stars, sports stars, you are attracted to them. You are attracted to their lavish lifestyles. That is one of the signs. Then another sign is you aren't ready to displease people to please Allah. Many a times there are occasions that we have to displease people to please Allah. But you are not ready for you are not ready for that. Then another sign is your friends are in the type that remind you of Allah. Your friends, you know, that is a in, in English there is a saying, you know. Uh, a man is known by the company he keeps right so you should choose your friends that remind you of Allah so if your friends are not reminding you of Allah or instead they are taking away you know, taking you away from Allah then that is not a good thing another sign is you cannot uh, you can afford to waste so much of your time doing things that do, won't benefit you in the hereafter you are involved in so many things that they are not benefiting in the year after. Next sign is you can't seem to be able to change your extravagant lifestyle despite knowing Allah dislikes the extravagant. Another sign is you care much about your physical appearance, how attractive you look, how you know your hairstyle and you should be good looking, you should be nice, but you should not go out of the way and you know instead of nurturing your soul, you are looking after your physical you know, appearance. Another sign is you believe the end of the time is still far, far away. You don't, you're not worried about the day of Qiyam. Next sign is you are always in a haste to finish your prayer and continue with what you are doing. You are not interested in prayer. You don't find the sweetness of prayer. You just, you know, do your first and go back to your work. Another sign is you don't think that today could be your last day. Yes. Then another sign is you are solely comforted by luxury, not by the remembrance of Allah. You should have your branded clothes, you know, footwear, your house, your car. Your... You are comforted by that. You are not comforted by the remembrance of Allah. Another sign is, this is the last one, that you don't ask Allah for Jannah the way you ask for your dunya, the way you ask for wealth or health or children or spouse, you know, you are not asking Jannah, right? you are not paying attention to the importance of asking paradise, right? So these are the few signs that uh, show us that we are not uh, you know, attracted, you are not focused to the hereafter. And remember that death is just round the corner. It may be you know, just round the corner. See people, you read the newspapers, you read the magazines, you know, daily, every day newspaper, there is you know, so many deaths, so many accidents, so many incidents. So, you have to take care of yourself.
focus on the hereafter because you will live more above, you know, you live more inside the earth than above the earth. That is, you are in the grave for much, much, much longer time than on the earth. So, an intelligent man, he will, you know, take care of this uh, perspective and focus his life on the hereafter. Inshallah.